Hey, hey, this is Kurt the Boat Doctor. Out here in this beautiful, I gotta turn off them lights. You got your LED lights, large bow wrap rail. You got your big spool winds that could hold at least three to 400 foot of anchor rod, road, whatever you wanna call it, and chain. Should be able to 300 plus, but there's a way to go. They wind up level. You don't have to worry about pull them up in an anchor locker. So it makes it nice LED lights, three wipers, wipers, forward leaning with the sun shade up on top. Foot jack I like, two and five sixteen chance ball. Check your brake fluid, there's your battery. This does have electric. I run my actuator on the truck to about six. You want it to where it isn't pulling back on you, but you don't want it too less towards pushing on the truck. So that you'll just get it, but normally on six is fine. And you got four by four bunks with slicks, keel roller, of course the keel don't run on that. You got like a reverse chine here, it helps keep that water down, rub rail, rub rail, rub rail. So you're pretty well protected. You got your plates where they belong, sliding windows tinted. And then we'll go over here, you got a two speed jack. It's over on the low one, your brake. That's your, oh, that was nice. They cleaned that up. That's your drain for your anchor box. Bilge for the front. Front diesel heater exhaust. Galley heater, vent, sink drain, vent. That's your midsection overflow, probably right there. Gear bath oil hubs. They're all brown, brown good, white bad. Tie downs. Rear entry door. Zinc will roll it on, trim tab, GT51 transducer, you got 300s, so I better put this back so I don't forget. Checker motor would go here, T25 could be getting close. Uh, these here are your trim pistons out in the water every once in a while if they growl on you really like rattling just take some grease and rub on those and that's your trailer trim piston there you got 15 by 15 saltwater 2 series left hand the way it's cupped you got right hand this way left hand this way total saltwater protected zinc zinc stainless pop shaft Drive shafts, uh, this got the two flushers. You can get a bullet one here and another flush. Okay, if you don't have this one, take that off and just use this one full force. You'll have water coming out here, back up into here, so that's normal. See that steering system, pretty high tech. Pit tube, uh, special coat, you got two coats of clear, two coats of primer in your special paint. Uh, you got uh, internal zincs, every cylinder zincs on the block. DEC controlled. You can put your transducers there on the back if you wanted to, or right there. So if you run out of room, you can always put them in the back one. Uh, okay, so rear deck steer, autopilot controls, back screen, start stop switches. Always make sure that this one's locked if you're not using that extra step because if you don't, you're gonna find out why. And you can plug, you don't have to, this ain't going anywhere, but this way it just ain't dragging in the water. Okay, we're gonna head to the water and set this bad boy up. It's a beautiful boat, man. Boat Doctor out, I'm gonna put that down too.